guys, it's Amy. If you want to hit your driver further, we want to minimize your side spin and back spin and create more top spin. In order to create more top spin, you need to know how to throw through the, uh, through the ball. A lot of you guys don't quite know what it means to throw through the ball. So today I'm going to be talking about the driver downswing. Before we start the lesson, I want to talk about down blow versus up blow or backspin versus topspin. Um, in order to explain that a little bit better, I'm going to show you the difference between your iron swing and your driver swing first. So let's talk about the irons first. So iron swing is a down blow swing because with the irons, the ball is, you hit the ball off the ground. So it, when you start your down swing, what happens is you transfer your weight all at once. So you're about 90% to 100% in your left leg. And then you go into a steep and you go down blow into it. And then you make a divot. When you go into a down blow, it creates backspin. So what happens is when the ball lands, instead of running out, it'll stop quicker. For the driver, driver is the only club in the bag where you tee it up very high, so you hit the ball that's up in the air, right? This is the only club you need to go up low into it. So instead of swinging the same way as the iron and go transfer your weight all at once, you have to uh, do it a little bit differently. Your downswing sequence should be, you transfer your weight about 10 to 20% first, delay the weight shift, and your weight's gonna be more in the right foot and you're gonna go up low into it and you're gonna throw through and then the weight shift completes after. So in order for you to understand the throwing sensation, you need to be able to do two things. You need to understand how to feel the weight of the club head. And secondly, you need to understand how to use your core and use that as source of power. So there's a lot of things I want to talk about uh, on these two subjects. So I'm going to divide the lesson in two and talk about them in more detail. So today I'm going to talk about how to feel the weight of the club head. So like I explained earlier, um, I do see a lot of amateurs that do swing the driver same way as the irons. So a lot of you guys do transfer your weight all at once. When you're in this position, you can't throw through because in this position, if you throw through, what happens is you're gonna hit the bottom of the tee and you're gonna end up hitting the top of the club right here. You're gonna pop it up and push it right. So you get that kind of high cut, high slice if you do that iron down swing. So with the driver, when you get into this position, a lot of people actually know through experience that you're gonna pop it up. So you actually end up holding on for dear life and just hitting the ball this way. You've seen this through swing a lot, right? So when you do this through swing, the only problem is that you're holding onto it so tight, you won't be able to feel your club head. In order to feel your club head, um, you have to relax your wrist, your elbow, and your shoulder joint like this and really relax it through so you feel that weight of the club head. But when I tell someone to relax their joints, a lot of people actually end up relaxing their fingers. So their joints would be still stiff, but they end up relaxing their fingers like this. What happens is if you relax your grip too much, the club is going to move around in your hands. And throughout the whole golf swing, if the club starts moving in your hand, you're going to get uncomfortable and grab it harder which is going to put more tension than what you started with which is no good right so you have to be able to know differentiate between relaxing your grip versus relaxing your joints so you understand that now let's go into how to practice to feel the weight of the club head so the best practice to really get those joints loose and feel the weight of the club head is making practice swings so we're gonna do two things. We're gonna go to the top and completely stop, and then we're gonna make that swoosh sound three feet in front of the golf ball. Completely stop, swoosh. Again, stop, swoosh. 
So this practice is probably the best practice if you want to gain more distance on your driver because it actually helps you to loose loosen up your arms and feel the weight of the club head. Plus it actually strengthens those muscles that are needed in order for you to hit it far. So you cannot do enough of these practice swings, okay? So uh, one important thing though when you're doing these uh, practice swings is that in order for you to be able to swish over here, you cannot let your body get ahead like this. So if you hold your driver this way with your left palm, and you set up with the right hand this way, uh, you need to kind of keep your body still and you need to swoosh over here. But if your body gets ahead, it kind of goes like this way. And then you can't swoosh, you'll be swooshing before the wall, which is no good, right? You're using all your energy before the impact is not good. All right, so instead of going in this way, you have to kind of wait and wait for the club to swoosh on that side of the golf ball. If you do enough of that practice swing, let's go ahead and hit the golf ball. When you're hitting the golf ball, if you pay attention more to uh, listen to the swoosh rather than focusing on hitting the golf ball, it'll help, help you hit it further. Okay, so watch. Let's try and swoosh over there. Okay, so the most important part is not getting ahead of the, out of the golf ball first, right? Um, so to help you with that, if you think of it this way, it might help you. So instead of like using your whole body to create power, if you kind of use the momentum of the club and making the biggest circle possible, then it's actually going to relax your body. It's gonna be easier on your body, but you're gonna create more club head speed and hit it further. So Hopefully that thought might help you with swishing in front of the golf ball. So in order for you to hit the golf ball further, you really want to stay back in your right foot instead of getting ahead. Make a swish three feet in front of the golf ball. Do all of those practice swings. And in the next lesson, I'll be showing you guys how to create power with your core. So I hope you're able to follow along and I will see you guys in the next lesson.